This is where Frida's story begins and ends. The Blue House. This house was built by her father in Mexico City. Frida's father, William Calu, got in Mexico in 1891 at the age of 19 with little money and no Spanish. Once in Mexico, he changed his German name, William Calu, to a more Spanish name, Guillermo Calu, traded his Jewish religion to atheism, and never looked back. Matilde, Frida's mom, later confessed to her young daughter Frida that she did not love Guillermo. When Matilde became pregnant with Frida, she had just lost her only son, who died just days after the birth. Um, after giving birth to Frida, Matilde was too ill to care for her or even feed her. Uh, so she hired an Indian wet nurse to breastfeed Frida. This may be the reason why Frida never formed a strong mother-daughter bond with her mother. Frida's wet nurse experience was the inspiration for her 1937 painting, My Nurse and I. She then spent the next several months in bed recovering from the accident. Little did she know at the time that she would endure some 30 operations throughout her lifetime in an attempt to correct the damage sustained in that accident. Doctors told Frida that she would probably never be able to carry a child to full term. This accident changed the course of her life forever. It was during her months of sickness that Frida began to take painting seriously. A large mirror was mounted on the underside of the bed canopy so Frida could see herself. She began by painting portraits of herself, friends, and still life. Thru throughout Frida's short life, she created over 143 paintings, most of which were self-portraits and still life. Frida feared that after her death, she would be forgotten and self-portraits were her only way of immortalizing herself. Frida's first self-portrait, as you see here, it was painted as a gift to her student boyfriend, Alejandro Gomez Arias, who had left her. It was given as a token of love by which she hoped to restore his affection and keep her in his thoughts. Her plea for his love to work, and not long after, Alejandro received the portrait and they were rejoined. The aristocrat pose reflects Frida's interest in paintings of the Italian Renaissance period. Um, as you see here, the self-portrait of Frida is an interpretation of Bocelli's Venus, which Alejandro admired. The same style would later appear in her portrait of Alicia Galani from 1927 and portrait of Adriana, 1927. At 22, she married the famous Mexican muralist, Diego Rivera, which was 20 years older than her. Their stormy passionate relationship survived infidelities, the pressures of careers, divorce, remarriage, Frida's bisexual affairs, her poor health, and her inability to have children. On November 10, 1930, the newlywed couple left Mexico for three years in the United States. She referred to as a shabby old village. Frida became pregnant once again, but after only three and a half months, her second pregnancy ended in miscarriage at the Harry Ford Hospital. Diego never wanted children, and Frida knew it.
Shortly after her divorce with Diego Rivera, Frida completed the self-portrait of two different personalities, records the emotions surrounding her separation. On the right, the part of her person which was respected and loved by Diego is the Mexican Frida in Tijuana costume. In her hands, she holds an amulet bearing the portrait of Diego as a child. On the left, a more rather European Frida in a lacy white Victorian wedding dress, the Frida that Diego abandoned. The hearts of the two women lie exposed, a device Frida often uses to express her pain. The unloved Frida's heart is broken, while the other Frida's heart is whole. The reason why I decided to talk about Frida is because of everything she's been through. And also because if you think about it, in today's age, um, where liposuction, facelifts, and hair removal, um, it's kind of refreshing to see how Frida lived her life, where she used her funds, the defects most women try to cover up, as her strength. A significant part of Frida's work is her self-portraits, her uni brown, her mustache. Frida Mania started in the 1990s and was pushed along by the release of motion picture Frida 2002. Her life she made for Hollywood.